the last video we're going to be doing <laughs> for area <laughs> for the area of shapes lesson three worksheet <laughs> is number six. Okay, here is a sketch of a wall that needs to be painted. Okay, so you're seeing a bunch of different shapes in here. They're all parallelograms, so you know you're only going to want to use or have to use the formula area equals base times height. It's our only formula we're going to be working with. So first you're going to want to calculate the area of the biggest parallelogram, okay, which is 12 feet by 8 feet. That's the wall, okay. So we're starting with that. Okay, and we're going to say 12 times 8, and that's 96. So we've got 90, <clears throat> our area of the big wall is 96 feet squared. Remember, units are important. Okay. You can add them at the end. <clears throat> so that's the area of our big square. Then, or not square, sorry, rectangle. Then we have all these little shapes. We have windows. And we have the door. Now we don't know exactly where those will come in right now. So let's start by reading what they want us to look for. The windows in the door will not be painted. Calculate the area of the wall that will be painted. Okay, so they're painting this area but they're not going to be painting the green parallelogram or the two orange squares. So we need to calculate their area and subtract that out of this total area that we just found. Okay, and that'll tell us how much paint we need. So we're going to start by calculating the area of the door. Okay, it's 3 by 6, so you're going to do 3 times 6. Okay, so our area is equal to 3 times 6 is 18 feet squared. Okay, and then we have the windows that are 2 by 2. Okay, so they would just be 4 feet squared. Okay, but you have two windows, so you got to do that twice, four feet squared. So now you're going to want to subtract all that off of 96. So you're going to subtract the four feet, another four feet, and 18 feet. Okay, 96, subtract all that off. You are left with 70 feet squared. So the area that will be painted will be 70 feet squared. Next, they're asking us about um, if a quart of extra thick gooey sparkle paint covers 30 feet squared, how many quarts must be purchased for the painting job? So we know that they need to be able to cover 70 feet squared and each one covers 30 feet. So we're going to take 70 feet squared And we're going to divide it by 30 feet squared. Okay, the units cancel out. The zeros cancel out. So we've got 7 over 3. Okay, 3 goes into 7 twice. With a remainder of 1 third. Okay, so they would need 2 and a third quarts of paint. Which means that they're going to have to purchase 3 quarts of paint. Yes. purchased. And that's it for question number six. Email me if you guys have any questions.